Peterson's life should have been nothing more than a sad story. Losing loved ones to drunk drivers and organized crime is enough for most to give up on their dreams. But Adrian's built different. The pain fueled him to chase greatness on the gridiron. In the end, his football career was filled with epic highs and brutal lows. But how good was Adrian Peterson actually? Showtime, baby. God. Bro, this dude single-handedly, I'm not going to say single-handedly, but for the most part, almost single-handedly made me fall in love with football. You know what I'm saying, bro? I saw this guy run against the Steelers, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be like that guy when I'm older. I ain't going to lie. Be right here, baby. Pre Let's go. From the moment Peterson <laughs> was born, child. he was expected to be a star athlete. Both of Peterson's parents had impressive athletic backgrounds. His mom, Bonita Brown, was a three-time Texas high school track and field state champion who attended the University of Houston on an athletic scholarship as a sprinter and long jumper. His dad, Nelson Peterson, played basketball for Idaho State and had dreams of making it to the NBA. But his career was derailed when his brother accidentally shot him in the leg. So it was up to Adrian to fulfill his father's dreams of becoming a pro athlete. And first things first, he would have to get into sports himself. Born and raised in Palestine, Texas, Adrian's best friend was his older brother, Brian. They were an inseparable Palestine, duo, Texas? always playing I've outside. Never heard of that. I love my brother so much. You know, it was just me and him. And one day when Adrian was just seven years old and Brian was nine, it was business as usual. The two were riding their bikes and it was a great day until the unexpected happened. Out of nowhere, a drunk driver came flying down the street and before Brian could get out of the way, he was struck and killed. The whole time, Adrian was across the street witnessing his brother and best friend being murdered. I won't wish on anyone, you know, but it made me strong. You know, it, it did. After experiencing something that traumatic, he needed an outlet for all of his pain, anger, and sorrow. That outlet became playing sports, specifically football. I played running back and I played defense, played linebacker. I loved it. He began playing Pop Warner football and channeled those emotions on the field. By the time he was 12, Peterson was a star <laughs> in the making. I like, how, I like how these are just random clips of football players. <laughs> like, this time the age of Peterson, but it's just random clips, bro. Even at that what? young of an age, his coach was telling all of the other kids to remember that they once played with Peterson. Peterson's dad served as an assistant coach for the team and was so impressed with his son's nonstop motor that he gave him the nickname All Day. All I Day. Go. All Day, running all around. Day. Just when it looked like things were going Peterson's way, he was forced to say goodbye to another loved one. When he was 13, his dad was arrested for money laundering in connection with the sale of crack cocaine. And my mother cried what? all night, all day and sentenced to 10 years in prison. Losing his dad after having already seen his brother and best friend killed lit Peterson's inner fire to strive for greatness that much more. At Palestine High School, he developed into a three-sport standout athlete in life. football, basketball, and track. Following in- I was, whenever I picture Adrian Peterson, I picture it right like this, bro. Just ball-headed, bro. Do we have, do we have hair? When he, when he had hair, bro, <laughs> I thought this dude was born bald, bro. Every time I see Adrian Peterson, I always see him with a bald head, bro. I didn't, like, I guess, yeah, so at some time, at some point, he probably had hair. What the heck? Why did that wave picture look so weird? In his mom's footsteps. Wait, hold up, hold up. Strive for greatness. What the heck? Nah, bro. Nah, <laughs> dude must have been, like, 13 here, bro. What the fuck? What? That don't look real, real. That don't look real, bro. It's that much more. At Palestine High School, he developed into a three-sport standout athlete in football, basketball, and track. Following in his mom's Who's footsteps, have one Peterson through, bro? dominated the 100 and 200 meter. Bro, his dad was an athlete, his mom was an athlete. You know what I'm, I'm an athlete, you know what I'm saying? Who, who, where my wife at, you know what I'm saying? I need me a, D, I mean, a, a, a track superstar, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? With the, with the six-pack abs and runs a 4-4, four, touch four, it. Not even a 4, run a freaking 3. Break the break the world record tie for females. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I need you, my heart. I need you. Triple jump and long jump competitions. D1 His high school coach believed that he could have become an Olympic sprinter if he had focused on that rather than football. Instead, I see that. Peterson combined that elite speed with absurd strength on the gridiron. He was a supernatural athlete, but on the field, he also just played and ran angrier than anyone else out there. As a junior, he ran for 2,051 yards on 246 rushes for an average of 8.3 yards per carry Sheesh. while scoring 22 touchdowns. Sheesh. Peterson then somehow took his game to a whole nother level. Whose baby is that? What the? Whose baby is that, bro? Why are you just randomly holding up? 
double his senior year. He huh? rushed for 2,960 yards on only 252 attempts, for an eye-opening 11.7 yards per carry and 32 touchdowns. He was so unstoppable that people started to talk about him potentially skipping college and going straight to the NFL. However, that was not allowed, so Peterson had oh, to take the traditional college route. He was a consensus five-star recruit and was listed as the top running back and overall prospect in the 2004 class. He also was named the top high school player by College Football News and won the Hall Trophy as the U.S. Army National Player of the Year. Every college was begging Peterson to come to their campus, and he had offers from all of the top programs across the country, like Miami, USC, Texas, UCLA, and Oklahoma. With the freedom to go anywhere, Peterson decided Ooh. to become an Oklahoma. Not the bro, like, <laughs> why not just buy jeans, like, just regular jeans, bro? Like, at this point, why not just, bro, the 2000, 2000 drip, bro, different, ain't gonna lie, early 2000 drip, you know what I'm saying? The army tank with the <laughs> with the je the baggy jeans, bro. The oversized jeans, you feel me, broski? I can't tell what kind of shoes those are, broski, but like, damn, all right. I right, I'm a sooner. Bro look like hey, he just man. Tell us who you're gonna fresh out of for. prison, though. Ain't gonna lie. Tini, University of Oklahoma. <laughs> The okay, second he uh, stepped on campus in Norman, Peterson was thrown into the deep end, and it was sink or swim. It was clear that he couldn't take his time transitioning to the college game like almost any other freshman would be able to. Everybody knew his name and reputation, and they expected him from day one to live up to the insane hype. With all eyes on him, Peterson in each of his first nine games rushed for more than 100 yards, setting a freshman record. He finished the season with 1,925 rushing yards, which led the conference and set another NCAA freshman record record. Peterson carried the Sooners to a perfect regular season and a berth in the national championship game where Oklahoma fell to USC. Despite this record-breaking season, Peterson finished second to USC quarterback Matt Leinart in the Heisman Trophy voting. A true yeah, freshman I was going to say, running backs almost never win, bro. I could, I could literally name every running back that's ever won the Heisman, bro. Never literally considered almost, for that. Bro. Should I try them? We got Derrick Henry, Bush, um... Uh, Barry Sanders, there's two more, bro. There's two more. Reggie Bush, who's the, who's the other one? There's literally like, there's like five, bro. There's, there's not that many, bro. That award, so coming in second was still quite the honor. Peterson also became the first Reggie freshman Bush. in school history to be named a first-team AP All-American. After a storybook freshman season, there wasn't a single... Oh, uh, Ricky, Ricky Williams? Ricky Williams? There's one more football fan who didn't know Peterson's name or terrorizing chat. running style. If you know, let me know. I mean, not chat, bro. Um, viewers, you know what I'm saying? Because this is a YouTube video. Let me know in the, in the comments if you know the... the just, just list the names of running backs, bro, because I, I got to know now, bro. He was an unstoppable <laughs> wrecking ball that took no know. prisoners when he had the football in his hands. But after years of delivering punishment to opponents, Peterson's playing style finally caught up to him. As a sophomore, he struggled to stay healthy and missed all or part of four games with a high ankle sprain. Even so, he managed to rush for 1,108 yards that season. That Peterson's kick. junior year was set to be his final chance to solidify his spot on the Mount Rushmore of college football running backs. It also gave him the opportunity to do something he had been waiting years for, to play in front of his dad. Peterson's dad was released from prison, and he was able to be at the Sooners Week well, 7 matchup against monster. Iowa State. With his dad in the stands for the first time since he was just a little boy, Peterson on Oklahoma's final drive of the game broke off a 53-yard touchdown run, but what was supposed to be the exclamation point for an extremely special day where he rushed for 183 yards and two touchdowns Sheesh. quickly turned into a nightmare because when Peterson dove into the end zone, he broke his collarbone. The injury sidelined him for the rest of the regular season no and created way. serious doubts about his long-term durability when he declared for the 2007 NFL Draft. Even though Peterson had rushed for over 4,000 yards and 41 touchdowns in only 31 career college what? games and was being compared to all-time NFL greats. The teams yards? at the top of the draft didn't believe in it. You never know. What you got. You know which direction they might go. But on yes. draft night, Peterson fell to the Minnesota Vikings at pick number seven. The Minnesota Vikings select Adrian Peterson. Adrian back, Peterson. Oklahoma. As if he needed any more motivation, his goal became to show those six teams who passed on him that they made a massive mistake. Throughout Peterson's rookie campaign, he was a man on a mission, steamrolling anyone in his now, way. Now, there's different kind of runners, bro, but Adrian Peterson was definitely one of those, like, angry runners, bro. He ran, like, Isaiah Pacheco, you know what I'm saying? I, Isaiah Pacheco, he runs like he's, like, 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 
just just anger. <laughs> I don't know how to I don't know I don't know how to explain it, bro. When you watch Agent Peterson run the ball, bro, you're like, what is this? This dude is angry at the world, bro. He's trying to unleash all his anger upon his opponents, my guy. Yo. In week six against the Bears, this dude stomps his foot into the dirt every step, bro. Set an NFL record for all purpose yards in a game with 361, yeah, thanks to 224 rushing, nine receiving, and 128 return yards. Yeah, he wasn't really known for, for catching the ball at the back. And he wasn't done setting history that season. Only two weeks later, in a game against the Chargers, Peterson set the league's single game rushing yard record with 296 yards on the ground, while also scoring three touchdowns. The high step. Get used to that. Get used to that. He's going to do that a lot. In 14 games played that year, he ran for 1,341 yards and 12 touchdowns. Despite missing two games due to injury, Peterson finished second in the league in total rushing yards, first in rushing yards per game, won NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year, was named second team All Pro, and made the Pro Bowl. Facing off against the league's best know, players bro. in the Pro Bowl, Peterson went. Seeing, seeing AP rocking the ball head feel like, makes me feel like I can rock the ball head too. Ain't going to lie. If him. Out and ran for 129 you know, yards and two ball, touchdowns. Bro. On his way to winning the game's MVP, he became the first rookie since Marshall Falk in 1994 to win the award. His performance capped off one of the most dominant rookie seasons in NFL bro, history. Back when the Pro Bowl was actually no competitive. Doubt that the six teams who had passed on him in the draft would regret doing so for years to come. After a picture perfect back start to his career, to expectations were sky high for year two. Before the season started, he even went on the record saying his goals for the year were to win league MVP. MVP and rushed for over 2,000 yards. While Peterson ultimately fell short of these extremely lofty goals, he didn't go down without a fight. That season, he led the league in rushing with 1,760 yards, Jeez. which was third most ever by a player in his second season, and he was named first team All Pro. The following season in 2009, Peterson led the NFL in another major category for the first time, rushing touchdowns with 18. That was in addition to his 1,383 rushing and Ooh, 436 rushing. Receiving yards, which helped him be named first team all pro for a second straight year. 2010 was more of the same for Peterson. 1,298 rushing yards and 12. What's that? Is that five years with what with one a thousand plus yards every year? What the what? Consistently, just back to back to back to back seasons. Downs, along with another All Pro and Pro Bowl selection. By this point, the Vikings had seen enough from Peterson. Why did you showing this man with hair, bro? Like, stop lying to us. He never had hair, okay? I, I refuse to believe this man was born with hair, bro. I was, he's born without hair, and he, I don't know what's that. I don't want to say nothing like that, but like, you know what I'm saying, bro? As he had they the keep showing us like I hear you don't got hair, bro. To ever play the game. So the they day before the 2011 us. season began, Minnesota See? gave Peterson Ball. a seven-year, $96 million extension. Damn. Damn. I wonder what he'll get today. You know what I'm saying? What's with the inflation? Like that? I wonder how much his, his, that, that contract will be today that made him the highest paid running back in league history. With everything going Peterson's way, the AP. ensuing season brought him crashing oh, back to reality. Late in the year, he suffered his first major injuries in the NFL, a torn ACL and MCL, the type mm. of injuries that can sometimes oh. forever rob a player of his speed or agility. I remember this, bro. I remember this, and then he, oh my gosh, the, the comeback, there were questions the about comeback Peterson's was leaked, future was with his crazy. durability and athleticism. The 2012 season was his chance to answer everyone's questions. <laughs> no. With as late in the previous season as Peterson got hurt, many weren't sure he would even be healthy for week one. But in true superhuman fashion, just eight months after having his ACL All reconstructed, day. Peterson was back. As someone who thrives facing setbacks and being doubted, he wasn't phased and ran with a vengeance. He treated defenders like crash test dummies as he galloped for 2,097 rushing yards, Insane. which was second most in NFL history and just nine yards shy of Eric Dickerson's single season record. Peterson brought home the league MVP. Thank you for believing. Now I can share it with you on Twitter. And comeback player yes, of the year awards for his yes, extraordinary sir. return after suffering a very serious injury. Following a solid 2013 campaign where he became the third fastest yeah. player to reach 10,000 career rushing yards. That that 2012 season, bro, was literally, literally like, like fictional, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like it's some like some real 
uh, uh, video game numbers types, you know what I'm saying? Real Person's video quest games. to become an all-time great is placed on pause. For the National Football League, breaking overnight, one of its brightest stars has been charged with child abuse. Ahead of week ah. two that season, Peterson Who was indicted on child abuse charges <laughs> for disciplining I'm his son joking, by spanking him with a wooden switch. Peterson was placed I'm on the- I'm joking, but like, who don't be the kid, bro? What, what is, what is, what is, actually, it's crazy though, I ain't gonna lie charges for disciplining his son by spanking him with a wooden switch. Peterson was placed <laughs> on the NFL's exempt list. Adrian will be away from the team and focus on his personal situation. Before being suspended for the remainder of the year. During the next offseason, Peterson was given a second chance. A U.S. District Court judge ruled in the NFL Player Association's lawsuit against the NFL on Peterson's behalf. So he was reinstated. When he returned, he Peterson head. showed zero signs of rust as he, he led the league head. in rushing yards and touchdowns with 1,485 and 11. Peterson became the first player to lead the league in rushing three different times since Barry Sanders and was the oldest running back to ever be named first team All Pro at the age of 30. Yeah, he went into 2016 looking to string together back to back dominant seasons, but he didn't have the chance to do so. In his week two game, Peterson suffered a torn meniscus and an LCL brain that kept him out until week 15, which was his final appearance of the year. But because Adrian Peterson cannot get up. After the season, Minnesota did what was once considered to be unimaginable. Oh. They moved on from Adrian Peterson. Yeah. The Vikings didn't exercise his contract option, so he signed a two-year, $7 million deal with the Saints. It was a fresh start for Peterson, who had been the face of the Vikings franchise for a decade. New Orleans, Peterson's play was as off as he looked wearing his new jersey. After rushing for a total of 81 yards in his first four games, the Saints traded him mid-season to the Cardinals. In Arizona, he played yeah, in- Yeah, I think, I think he probably, like, over like toward the end of the season, I feel like when the Vikings didn't resign him, like it was probably time to like retire. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. But like the I don't know. I feel like Adrian Peterson, one of those people, like he's like all his nose is like, bro, all day. You know, his nickname is literally all day. You know, feel me, bro? See, his nickname is literally all day. So dude's just trying to play until like until he drops, bro. You know what I'm saying? Some people like actually work until they until they, they no longer can work. Like like they physically. He mentally and uh, spiritually cannot work no more. You know what I'm saying? I feel like AP is definitely one of those people, bro. Where if he can't play, like he he's got it. Like he has to be like you know what I'm saying. Six games and rushed for 448 yards before suffering a season-ending neck injury. The Cardinals yeah. released Peterson after the season, and it appeared his career had officially been derailed by injuries. But the Washington Redskins decided to take a flyer on it, signing Peterson to a one-year veteran minimum deal. In what was set to be his final shot in the league, Peterson went out and showed the world he wasn't done just yet. He rushed for 1,042 yards. And this dude is like 40 years old here, bro, and he's rushing for 1,000 yards. That was crazy. Crazy, bro. Became the fifth player in league history to rush for over 1,000 yards in a season at the age of 33 or older. Yes. Having shown he still had some 33, left in the bro. Washington That's like signed LeBron. Nah, LeBron's LeBron's like almost 40, bro. LeBron's pushing 40, chat. Yo, how old is LeBron? Him to a two-year, eight million dollar contract. In 2019, Peterson rushed for a respectable 898 yards, but the Redskins released him prior to the following season beginning. Peterson then signed with the Lions and rushed for 604 yards and seven touchdowns. Then heading into the 2021 campaign, it once again seemed like Peterson's career was over. No team signed him until injury problems surfaced for the Titans' backfield in November. Peterson rushed for 82 yards in three games for Tennessee before being released and playing one game for the Seahawks. While he only played a single game for Seattle, Peterson managed to set some history by scoring a rushing touchdown. And becoming the first player in league history to score a rushing touchdown with six different teams. Despite going unsigned this past offseason, Peterson still has not officially retired. Yeah, literally, his career bro. is indeed over. It was one that will never be forgotten. His 14,918 career rushing yards and 120 rushing touchdowns are respectively fifth and fourth all time. He was a four time first team All Pro, three time second team All Pro, seven time Pro Bowler, and made the NFL's All Decade team for the 2010. 
intense. Not to mention his MVP season in 2012 is still the last time yes. a non-quarterback won the and award. Yes. Adrian Peterson's football career can be remembered as one of his. Well, AP was the last time. I, what word? I did not know that. Brilliance. His greatest seasons always me. came after injury. More time missed when everyone counted him out. He was a finalist for Comeback Player of the Year three times during his career and won the award once. There were plenty of times Peterson could have given up, but he never did. And he I was the greatest all day. running back of the past decade all day. because of it. Yo, W. Adrian Peterson, I ain't gonna lie to you, broski. This this dude was an inspiration to so many running backs. Y'all ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying, bro? Let me know which who video I should watch next. Uh, basketball, football, football, if you want to act in uh, soccer, soccer type shape. Okay. Um, drop, drop your, drop, let me know who your favorite running back is. You know what I'm saying? In the comments as well, bro. Like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.